Welcome everybody to Old Man PC Play. This is another episode of Monster Hunter Online Chinese server. This is how to set up an account and also download the game. Okay. For those of you who like hentai, I still have my hentai tab on the top. That's cool. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to go to uh monster hunter online or mho dot qq dot com slash main type that in in your search or your google and then all of a sudden you'll have access to it oops okay once you're on the site you'll enter here you're gonna click on game download it even shows you in english You're gonna be forward to the next page. The first tab, the red one, that's your game. The rest will give you the additional stuff. If you do it in Google Chrome <clears throat> or any translated site or um, web browser, it'll usually tell you what they each one means. But for the, the time being, we'll be doing red since we just need the game. Click on save, whatever, and save it on. Sometimes you might be directed to a uh, can't process to this page. It might be uh, hacked or blocked or has some kind of file corrupt in it. Um, just click ignore. There's nothing wrong with the file or um, wherever you're downloading it. Right. And download it wherever. After you finish, you're going to make any qq account how do you make a qq account well you need to type in this link right here also the link will be in the description it's zc.qq.com just type it in this press enter and it'll automatically bring you here this is what you need to access the monster hunter uh online you need an account from here before you can actually sign in and start playing Monster Hunter due to the fact that they don't give you a chance to make a username. Uh, each account has a QQ number, which would be your username, and you make your own correct um, password to fill in for the numbers. So you have a choice between getting the email or the number one what's the difference one using the email the other one doesn't okay other one doesn't so first you're gonna fill in whatever you want password I'm just gonna rename this into something confirm fill it in all the way I'm just going to put some random stuff here. But fill it in as good as possible. Location, your location. It doesn't have to be in China. It could be wherever you're from. This was the example. You could put it anywhere. Right? And type in the verification code. So, the... Oh. Okay. Okay. Re click on the read the agreement. Click okay. And then you need to add in your mobile number so that they can send you a verification. This will be Tenzin that's sending you the verification you type it in the number on your phone um, from your phone type it in a number so I think it's like a four or five digit number anyway you type it in and you click because you're not from you know China so you click on the other one that states where your regent is and you go down to United States or wherever you're region is located okay the same 
you can put it anywhere right and then type in your number uh, type in the same number again to verify it click the submit button and there's it you'll get a code um, you copy it it'll be like a long 14 digit number or something like that you copy it over and then you can when everything's okay you will go to your monster hunter open up your monster hunter whenever it's finished you copy over your your number your QQ code and then you type in your password at wherever you put it and then when you click OK you'll get uh, when you click on this um, start button you are get a message like this stating that you're not um, you need a requirement to prove that you're Chinese resident and so forth uh, just follow the process you gotta click on or type in this address right here which brings you to this link page right here which is a verification page you just log into your account normally and add in you know other legit ID registration and so forth as they stated it right here and just type in your your name ID number and your passport and just click passport right and you can fill in anything it doesn't have to be a legit passport and then um, your address or wherever the address may be and then click confirm and you should be registered completely with it after you've seen this it completely works with with the client now do is just go back to the QQ page right here for the client and then type in your QQ number after you type it in once it automatically sticks in uh, if you type in more than one you can do the scroll down and click each one and same thing goes with the password you can keep doing the password and, and then click all of these and click on the start menu the start button Okay, so once you log in, you're gonna, if you already chose your server and all that, you'll get to this screen. If not, this is the screen that will pop up first to identify your server. The first one is the region, like north, south, east, west. And then the second one is the um, sub servers, if you will. The green indicates that it's good, yellow means it's okay still. But, you know red means it's over and X um, and gray usually means it's offline or not available at the time once you choose it I'm on the second of the, of the third as you see here I have so many so many characters anyways I'm on this okay once you get here You'll, you'll get to your character if you have not made any characters as far then you'll get a blank screen that showcases you making your own first character just click on an empty spot on the list and start creating your character you can zoom in with your mouse wheel or not and start choosing your character boy female so forth All right, so finish. Okay, type in a random name and then click this button. All right, click this button. All right, click this button. This button, finish. Okay, finish. Then Let's say you have problems with your click on the gear and you can change your 
when you can change your screen resolution this will click on windows or not this shows you your graphics card or if you have more than one this shows the direct x to direct x 11 you can do that uh, this one is a preset each one is from from the down to up the top one means maximum settings the bottom one means less settings like low settings um, each one gives a different indicator um, this one is a shadow sh shadow on or off little so on and then you have the game um, FX AA F uh, M S M AA so forth and each one you can basically play around with these but once you finish you need to um, adjust it and click click OK this button right here is OK this one is cancel okay so adjust it click OK click OK uh, that looks nice, but that's a little too dark. Click OK. Okay. You get different ones too once you're in the game, but for the time being, you, you just want to go online and play with your friends or whatever. Just click this box would drop it down to Windows and check it if you don't want Windows, if you want full screen. As I said, resolution, so forth, so forth. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching No Man PC Play. Make sure you subscribe, like, check out other videos. If any questions, concerns, and and um, you want to be answered, just send me a comment down below, and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you, and game on. Uh, thank you guys for watching Old Man PC Play. Make sure you subscribe, like, and check out the episodes. Check out our previous episode if you didn't see that one by clicking the previous arrow. And check out the next episode if you want to see the next episode. Uh, thank you guys. Remember guys, peace.